Okay, y'all, so it's your girl, Diamond Legend, back with another one, another one. Okay, so y'all, um, this video, I will be talking about dating that pleases God. Okay, and so I'm just going to hop right into it. First of all, I just want to, like, worship for a little bit. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, God. Lord, take control of this mouthpiece. Let everything that I say be pleasing to you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You increase as I decrease. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, God. Okay, boom. So, not all dating pleases God. Neither shall we as Christians date as the world dates. The world dates on me to God. Don't know him. Don't get to know him. Um, have sex, you know, are um, they in very they move very fast in the world. So, as believers, as Christians, we have to be the complete opposite, we have to move very slow. You know, what I'm saying we got to seek God. I lie to you not if you seek God, God will answer you. If you seek God before you date a God, before you allow God to come in, you will get revelation. Okay, is this person one? Is this person not the one? God will speak to you. Okay. So, dating that pleases God leads to something. And what does that lead to? It needs to lead to marriage. If y'all hear a noise, that is my hater. Okay, anyways, focus, on I mean, Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Mm, thank you, Holy Spirit. Okay, so, the you guys' dating should be leading to marriage. It's not just dating so that you guys can be boyfriend and girlfriend for years. Um, No. First of all, as single women, as single women, we have to be focused on the Lord. It's the scripture that says that our husband will find us when we are, you know, it's like when we're in God. When we're in God, that's when our husbands can recognize us. It's a scripture um, that says that. And then um, it says he who finds a wife finds a good thing. So he who finds us, we don't look for him. Okay. We don't look for him. I don't have to go and search for my husband because he's going to find me. You get what I'm saying? I'm the trophy. He who finds a wife finds a good thing. I'm the blessing. You get what I'm saying? You are the blessing. So it's completely backwards if when us women is searching and looking and, you know, going on dating websites. That is not God's will, y'all. That is not God's will for no woman to go on no dating network looking for a man. That is not God's will, y'all. That's not. It's not God's will. It's, it's, it's not God's will. God wants to send you your spouse. God will send him to you, but when you are ready, a lot of times we, we think that we're ready to be in a relationship, a marriage, and not relationship, I'm talking straight marriage. Um, we think that we're ready to be in a marriage. So, you know, we try and rush God's hand in our life. So instead of waiting, we want to go out here and date. And then what you're doing is you're um, you're going to end up hurting yourself and damaging your heart. And the word of God, it says, guard your heart for the issues of life flow from it. So you have to protect your heart. You have to guard your heart. You go through a heartbreak, you can give up on God. You can give up on God from a heartbreak. You get what I'm saying? So you have to guard your heart. You know, and um, the enemy is very strategic. And uh, he's getting a lot of people distracted, um, not focused on purpose, destiny, or anything else because of a relationship. So God wants us to learn how to date in ways that pleases him. You know, um, it's a scripture that says a single woman is to focus on the Lord, but a married woman, her business is of the her husband. Um, I might be saying it a little wrong, but I will link it below. Don't worry about it. But um, that saying, boom, when you're single, you focus on the Lord, you know, but then when you're married, you focus on your husband. It says nothing about relationship up in there. You know, that is just a, that's just a distraction. That's just a distraction. That's just a distraction, okay? Um, thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Boom. So dating that pleases God. Dating with a purpose. Courting. Courting is when you guys are in the dating process before marriage. Courting. Okay, so you guys court, you know, and then you guys make it engaged, and then um, you guys make it married. Some people don't do engagement time at all. Some people... Maybe, you know, once you know you meet, you, once you know you got that one, once you know, and sometimes God will tell you, like, who the one is. Sometimes God will tell you who your future spouse is. So, y'all don't have to go through that whole engagement process, you know, or that person might not want to go through that engagement process. They probably like, I don't, look, you know I'm the one, I know you the one. Okay, what are we waiting on? Boom. But, um, it should 
Mm, thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Courting should it should be about purpose. It should be about destiny, and it should be bigger than you and the other person. You know, so you can tell. How can you tell the conversation? What do you guys talk about? What do you guys talk about? Um, what do you guys talk about? What is your conversation about? You get what I'm saying? I love when men approach me. The first thing, well, I don't, I don't love when they approach me, but when they approach me, the first thing that I start talking to them about is the Lord. I'm like, do you know Jesus? Oh, because you walking up on me, you must want to know him, period. Okay, y'all, so the Lord has me being, like, really mean to men right now. So, like, I can't even talk to him, like, get out of my face. But, um, that's because he's prepping me for marriage. And he's like, you can't be too friendly or whatever. So, get out of my face. But, um, <laughs> thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. But before this, I will always ask them, like, do you know God? Like, as a believer in the Word of God, it says, do not be unequally yoked with unbelievers. You cannot date uh, somebody who, if you're a Christian, you cannot date somebody who is not a Christian, okay? You cannot. You can't, you know? Um, yeah, that's just what the Word of God says. It says, do not be unequally yoked with unbelievers. So that means do not be trying to be out here dating somebody who's not saved. Do not be trying to date somebody who uh, worships or believes in another God. Um, yeah you know or, or another false god or another religion or whatever the case may be no you know that's why i say first thing i ask hey do you know jesus sir and i tell you what ask them that question ask them say do you know do you know god do you know jesus you'll be surprised at the responses you get but you can tell when they're far from god and i'll tell you this also a god does not have to be walking a perfect life or just perfect to know god and to have a relationship with him so you know um yeah so um and also i heard a sermon recently and it said lust rushes and love waits so i'm currently waiting until marriage to have sex again and i, I can that is very true that is a very true statement love waits so when you find somebody who is willing to wait for you, somebody who is not going to rush you into sex or rush or push sex onto you, um, and they're willing to wait. That's love. Lust is like, I got to have it now. They're going to try and make you feel bad. Like, I don't know. I don't know. But they're going to pressure you into it. Maybe, you know, so um, or like like um sometimes i don't know but let me see thank you always for thank you always for oh like sometimes like you might have a guy say like something like this i'm like um thank you always for uh um oh if you love me you do it like or if you love me you'll have sex with me now not knowing that you're you're trying to it's like you're trying to do something differently you're trying to do something that pleases god but they'll use manipulation tactics to get you to have sex with them that's lust red flag red flag red flag lust is not love lust is not love and you know um yeah boom and let me just piggyback real quick um dating that pleases god as women we don't got to do nothing really when we get saved we start walking with the lord and we on our walks with christ we don't need to do nothing but prepare ourselves for marriage prepare yourself mentally heal from trauma heal from past hurts learn how to cook exercise um whatever god might lead you to work on for yourself we all different so um god can lead you to work on many different things you could god could be telling you to work on your hygiene god could be telling you to take better care of yourself um exercise um he it, you know just different things forgive people he might take you on a deep path of a uh, just deep internal healing you know um and that's preparation for marriage god made like how god is dealing with me right now is he's like mm, don't be friendly like he don't even want me talking to guys like a guy could say hey how you doing he, he's like you need to ignore them don't even speak to them and um that's marriage preparation for me also i wear a ring um now because guys do not guys just are can be so annoying when you're a beautiful woman very annoying and it's like um don't think they respect this marriage so i'll me me and god he was like we gonna get you a ring and you just showed him that ring boom they gotta respect that so um I got me I lost my ring y'all I gotta I gotta go buy another one but I had me a ring and I put it on my my wedding finger or whatever I know my I know my um my future spouse is anyway so you know 
I don't really care about it's not I don't I'm not worried about any of these guys out here because yeah so I put that ring on I'm like mm, I'm married I cannot talk to you leave me alone and that's how that's marriage prayer for me that's how God wants me to act he like don't even you can't you can't smile at him he don't want me smiling at him don't hey how you doing none of that ring get out my face it's funny I, I did get a little frustrated with God because I was like oh Lord I'm not married you got me out here acting like a wife he says marriage prayer though but um yeah so however the lord may be leading you to pray for marriage do it um um thank you holy spirit thank you holy spirit um i'm gonna pay back on the hygiene um just because i said hygiene it don't mean that your hygiene is just poor you get what i'm saying god could just be telling you take more than one shower a day you could take one shower a day god could be saying take two showers a day and you know um you know it might be just a habit that he wants you to get into because you know i don't know like Maybe he wants you to just learn how to be fresh um, in the morning, in the night, you know, or I don't know. Maybe you're fresh at night. I don't know. I'm just talking. I'm just flowing. But um, thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. But yeah, like he might want you to learn how to like be more fresh just so like you can be fresh all the time whenever you lay down with your husband or your spouse or whatever the case may be. Um, just just throwing it out there. Um, cooking, exercising. Um he might want you to do stuff differently. Like, let's say mm, your husband is into certain, a woman that is a, carries herself a certain type of way. God might start leading you to carry yourself a certain type of way because that's what he likes. You know, and you don't know that, but God knows that. The Holy Spirit knows that. And that's the same thing with husbands. God might lead you to do certain things. Like, I feel like even when you get married, God will lead your spouse to do certain things like let's say you like certain things you you want to be treated a certain type of way by a man god will lead your spouse to do that you know and god will minister to them you know about you you know um no relationship is perfect and i believe that god will use your spouse your wife your husband to grow you up and to help you and to teach you lessons and to, to mature you so it's not saying that it's going everything's going to be perfect but um i'm gonna speak for myself I believe that because I'm waiting until marriage, I believe that my marriage is going to be blessed. I believe me and my future husband, we're not going to argue a lot, hardly ever. And when we do disagree, our, our disagreements will be very calm and um very, like, the way we're going to handle each other is going to be a love out of this world. Because I'm waiting, I'm waiting, waiting, like, we waiting, waiting. I ain't having no sex or nothing, no dating, no dates. Yeah, my marriage will be blessed, period. And so, also, um, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Okay, so, boom. My marriage will be blessed. I believe that we're going to be really good friends. So, it's like, um, through us being friends, you know, purpose partners, lovers, blah, blah, blah. Um, I believe that, yeah, that's also going to be a reason why we don't do a lot of, um, fighting and what whatever but really i really i'm really crediting um me waiting until marriage i feel like when you wait it's a certain type of blessing a lot of people are not waiting you know sometimes people meet their spouse they just hop in bed you know what i'm saying or they just meet god they like they feel like he's the one they just hop in bed so when you make a like a decision like i'm gonna live a lifestyle i'm gonna wait it's not it's it's easy for me it's, it, it's easy for me, but I will say this. It's easy because God helps me. Because it's times when I'm vulnerable. It's times when I'm like, Lord, I don't, I don't know if I'm, you know. And every time I feel like that, like, it's like God don't allow me to be, God don't allow me to be vulnerable. Like, I was just praising God. I was like, God, I thank you, Lord. You know, because, like, when I could be weak and vulnerable, I'm never weak and vulnerable because the Holy Spirit just comes in and strengthens me. So, I'm not doing this in my own strength. Um, God has changed my desires a lot. So, I don't think about, you know, I think about sex and marriage. I have, that's what I be thinking about. I be like, Lord, I can't wait to get married. Like, I can't wait to get married. Jesus, I can't wait to get married because I'm tired of this. But, it's I'm not tired of this. I'm just going to do whatever with whoever. I'm tired of this. Where's my husband? I'm just playing. Okay, y'all. I'm serious. But I'm just playing. <laughs> thank you holy spirit okay so yeah so um yeah so yeah just trust god keep going keep the faith um and boom just touch bases again i'm just flowing with the holy spirit in this thing but um dating that pleases god should be marriage should be the purpose of it it shouldn't be you just 
hooking up with a guy having sex you shouldn't be you know as a christian as a believer you don't need to talk to three four different guys really you just gotta sit as the wife as the woman your husband will find you you sit with the lord this um married this one woman i know um she told me when she first got saved she just fell in love with god she fell in love with god and god sent her husband a year later you know boom you know what i'm saying so you just sit with god and god will send you your husband that's it that's how it happens you know really you need to sit and focus on healing don't be entertaining no exes when you start walking with the lord don't be entertaining no exes don't be getting on these dating sites women that's a red flag that's a red flag that's a red flag that's a red flag that you know um no like i hear some women say i don't never go nowhere god will send them baby at the grocery store you go to the grocery store don't you they you you make sure you look good when you go to the grocery store god will have y'all bump into each other at the grocery store at the gas station god will send them to the gas station okay i don't go a lot of different places i don't go to the club and stuff i go places but i don't go like out out you get me saying i go different places though out to eat movies different little stuff like that i go do what i do sometimes you know live my life but that's just an excuse like as women we don't need to go on these dating networks letting guys know we're available you really just need to sit and just like be covered by god and your husband will be able to see you you know see you covered covered by the holy spirit covered in the blood you get what i'm saying but you don't want to attract the wrong guys by getting on a social by getting on a dating site and it's all listen you've been around to some crazies they've been around your life then you don't you know what i'm saying sometimes as women i can't say this we'd be very vulnerable your focus has to be on the right things in your single season like i thank god because he's giving me fire like like i just be so focused on whatever god want me to focus on all day long my focus is god my focus is god now i ain't gonna say there's ain't been times where i've been focused on on love and stuff like that there has been times in my life where i have been focused on love but it's not all the time it, it, first of all that season has come and gone that season has come and gone um but i do focus on marriage sometimes i'm like lord i can't wait to be married like i don't know i'd be excited about marriage not just dating or whatever because baby i'm somebody's wife you gotta give me a ring oh is it no ring. one of these whatever these fingers oh it wasn't my middle finger y'all it was ring fingers ring fingers okay you gotta give me a ring period poo. and i just want to touch here real quick so i know that i said it is really easy for me to um wait till marriage i've heard a lot of women say that it's boring they can't do it i just want to list some pros to wait until marriage baby i just want to list them real quick boom um no stds you ain't got to worry about STDs whatsoever. No STDs, no pregnancies, no pregnancy scares, no soul ties. Um, um, thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. No toxicity, no toxic relationships. Um, um, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh my God. Self-confidence, my value. Like, the way I feel about myself, like, oh my God. I feel like, uh, I just feel, woo, like, cause I know nobody, nobody's touching me, uh. Nobody can get me, uh, yeah, these guys cannot get me, and the guys who had me, clap your hands, round up applause for you, baby, because you're rare, you're rare, like, mileage is low, all of that, and I just thank God for giving me this mindset, because women don't even realize it, but the more you engage in sexual intercourse with different men, and a whole lot of men, it affects you and how you value yourself, like, I value myself, like, I'm like, oh my God, yeah, yeah, you gotta marry me. You got to marry me to touch me, period, period. I'm not finna be one of the ones, like, no, no, no. And if, cause, cause if I'm the one, you're going to give me that ring. And if you're going to give me that ring, then, um, then it's on and popping. <laughs> no, I'm just playing y'all. I have been waiting for a very, very long time. Very, very long time, y'all. And I just know that's God. Because literally in my last relationship, we were like shacking and having sex like every day, you know, multiple times a day. So just know this me waiting is it's not me, man. It's God. It's it's God. I can't believe I lived this life. Can't believe it. Like, um, I used to feel like I was like a nympho. 
um in my last relationship i'm not like a nympho ho just have sex whatever i'm like when i like a guy when i'm with a guy that i i like and enjoy having sex with then it's like you know boom but it, we don't live that type of life no more because we're married now so whenever i get married then it's gonna be like you know what i'm saying but um yes so um yeah I'm gonna have to watch this video and see if this is what I want to post or not. Me and the Holy Spirit will discuss this. He might say remake it or he might say keep it. All right, y'all. So I love y'all. Good night. Oh, let me pray real quick. Lord, you know everything that I spoke. I ask that everything that I spoke be just pleasing and edifying, um, pleasing to you and just edifying to the body of Christ, Lord. I thank you, Heavenly Father, for if it ain't, Lord, um, us deleting it and doing a new one, God. I thank you, Heavenly Father, for um just helping your people lord to date in ways that pleases you god and i thank you heavenly father for um just further um giving them just confirmation and clarity on the things that i've spoken and like even when i was talking about marriage prep like whatever you need for each individual to like prep for marriage and what you want them to do i thank you god for ministering to them god i thank you heavenly father for convicting them if any of their ways do not align with your will your word i thank you god for showing them god giving them clarity lord and i thank you god for grace and mercy lord i thank you god for where sin abides grace abides all the more so i thank you god for the grace that you give your children and your people as you continue to work on us lead us guide us and help us Lord in jesus name we pray amen all right i love you guys have a blessed one